Hi everyone, I'm Marla Miller from MarlaMiller.com presenting 106th Quick Query Critique. This one is a, a query letter about an urban fantasy novel. I'll tell you, I'm learning a lot about urban fantasy just by reading uh, query letters and I'm also in an online um, critique group. I'm uh, working on a, uh, rewriting a novel and boy, urban fantasy is hot, hot, hot. So I'm getting familiar with the genre, um, certainly more than I have been. All right, let's get to this one. Uh, Dear Blank, I'm seeking representation for my first novel titled The Silver Siren. I chose to submit to you because I read that you like urban fantasies. Your agency is reputable and you seem personable. I also admire your vocabulary and will fully admit to Googling the word verismilitude after reading one of your interviews. Now down to business. The Silver Siren is an 86,000 word urban fantasy about a college swimmer who discovers she's a mermaid but doesn't realize she's also half angel and that she might be doomed to unleash the wrath of the fallen angels upon humanity. The novel's first book in the planned trilogy and sequels are currently in outline form. Raised by humans in San Francisco, Kylo O'Connor doesn't realize she's a mermaid. She thought she became a college swimmer on pure human talent. But when a clan of mermaids seeks her out to hide her from Nephilim, Kyla discovers that not only is she a mermaid with a silver winged tail, but that she also possesses powers held by angels, fallen angels that is. Kyla's unique powers would make her a prime target for Kendall, a so-sucking fallen angel who escaped from his abyss in search of a hybrid heir who holds the power to slay a Levinthian and release his angel buddies from hell to rage a war between good and evil. But Kendall doesn't know that his heir already exists, and his daughter, Kyla, has yet to find out who her real father is. I would be delighted to share a partial or entire manuscript of The Silver Siren with you. Thank you for your time and consideration sincerely. Okay, so what do I think of the Silver Siren? Well, um, quite frankly, I think that the first two paragraphs could go. Um, you can certainly put the, the word count uh, of the novel at the bottom. But um, I, I, I just want to take a minute or two to, to talk to all of you about um, the voice that you use in a in a query letter. Now this writer decided that she wanted to use a real intimate voice with this agent um, and and that intimacy is reflected in the first paragraph which of course you know I always post. Um, and so take a look at that again. If she were meeting this agent in person, say at a you know a cocktail reception or wine and cheese at a writers conference, then it would be just fine to let this agent know that she studied her, that she knows she uses big words, um, uh, and that she thinks her agency is reputable and she would love to work with them. But when you open a query letter to someone who's a stranger um, with a voice that that's intimate, that's that intimate, uh, you know, I think that you risk um, um, putting the uh, reader off. And I think that this paragraph might just do that. So I'd get rid of that first paragraph. Um, I would also get rid of the second paragraph or at least weave the contents of that into the bottom. I think that the start of this query letter is um, raised by humans in San Francisco. Kyla O'Connor doesn't realize she's a mermaid. Okay, now we're off and running. Um, and You know, I'm not sure that that's, um, yeah, I think that that would be a, a better opening than what she has now. Um, a couple of questions that I have here. Um, she is a mermaid, but she doesn't realize she's a mermaid. Now, I know that this is fantasy. I know it's urban fantasy, but I'm just trying to visualize this. So she's a mermaid, and she becomes a, you know, an, an elite athlete, a youth athlete, because of her swimming prowess. But she's really a mermaid, so... Has nobody seen her mermaid fin? Um, uh, she's half mermaid, half human. So that kind of just makes me, you know, ask that question as I read this query letter. And again, this is not my genre, but I wonder about that. Um, this is a story about good and evil and good overcoming evil. And the evil here is Kyla's father, I think, um, Kendall. Yeah, a soul-sucking fallen angel. Um, I would really encourage this writer to rework the arc of this story. Again, we do not have to um, know the ending. Uh, and in fact, we don't. I like the fact that she says the last line of the um, 
almost last paragraph says, and his daughter, Kyla, has yet to find out who her real father is. It's good. So it set us up. Um, the, the third and the fourth paragraph, I would say, um, with just some editing, you know, those are that's good content. I'm not saying that you should um, leave it as is, but I think it's good content for the query letter hook. Um, I, I do think that it needs more. So I would encourage this writer to um, look at the third and fourth paragraph. Also, she's sending it to a specific agent. And so I'm going to assume that this agent uh, likes urban fantasy. So then at the end, you might want to say that I'm pitching to your agency because you are, you know, you have, have um, one of your clients is blank who, you know, writes urban fantasies. Um, or in an interview, this agent said something about urban fantasy that caught this writer's attention. Then you can say that. You know, you can kind of, um, you know, do the, um, the um, for lack of a better word, you know, pandering to them. We all do. Uh, at the end. But in the beginning, hook them. So this is a, a young girl who's a half mermaid, half athlete. She is doesn't know it, but um, there's a dark world out there that is um, seeking to um, gain strength. And if they can just, um, I think, uh, beat her or this hybrid, which is her, um, then they will, I guess, conquer the world again. So if that's kind of the arc of this story, uh, present that. And um, uh, and then at the end, you know, give pay some attention to the agent. Um, I hope that this helps. Uh, writing is rewriting. Query letters are tough. You've got the remnants of it here. Um, more than remnants, you've got two paragraphs there that need some attention, but they have the essence of what I think this hook should be um, in a story about good and evil, or good versus evil. I hope it's helpful. Until the next time, be well. Keep writing.